I'll show you how to fix the validate CRUD permission before SQL DML operation, a priority one error from PMD or static code analysis of Salesforce. So this is a high priority one, you need to fix that. Otherwise you cannot deploy your code. Um, this is an example. You select some fields with security enforced. So with security enforced here at the very end enforces the profile and permission sets on the CRUD um, call. Usually CRUD is running at system mode. So enforcing the you comply with the user security. Let's move on to the next one. To check the fee level update permission of the contacts email field before updating and this is an example. This is another way to check it. You go to schema class and then object type a subject type and a contact for this example is a contact it may be any object fields and email is the name of the field is updatable then you update it so to check the fee level create permission of the contact email field before creating a new contact so you, you want to ensure that you can create a schema, a subject, contact, field, email is creatable is the method. If this is a boolean, you have permission, you create it here. It will be um, like create um, the contacts. This to check the fee level permission of the contacts email field before querying for this field schema is subject type for this example is contact field email is as accessible you read it you know uh, so this this is running on um, users permission mode so um, let's move on to the next one to check object level permission for the contact before deleting the con contact if you want to delete it but you have to check whether user has the delete permission. So if schema a subject type contact, the, this is our example, is deletable is a method. It is out of the box um, um, method on contact. So then you delete it. So this is how you fix this, that error.